question at the moment is Bitcoin have visited the bottom or are we gonna see another bottom? A lot of people went crazy and buying the, around the 70,000 and 60,000 and at the moment the all time low for this year everybody scared. This is the moment is the psychological because people get FOMO buy at the top then the price go down a lot of people get scared because at the moment at the current condition of the market we can 5x 10x our investment if we choose at least the top 10 cryptocurrency which is the safest and build the strategy for this year we discuss the last bottom for bitcoin for this year and where we gonna have the next turning point and entering a polish trend because at the moment we are in a bearish trend so let's get right to it and start with bitcoin we have 19 1900 is acting as a resistant if we go in a four hour chart you see what's happened we have a test it happened on the first of july you see and the price closed below so at the moment we have a confirmed resistant which is the 19 900 below the 20,000 before we talked about the 21,700 which we already tested it twice and the price went down because the short seller in control so I already did my analysis for Bitcoin which is uh, I will buy if we have a closing four hour candle above the 21,747 when profit taken should be triggered around the 26,000 and the 28,000. This is will be an interesting uh, profit taking. Why? Because this is normal when the market trending down heavily and we have a short position uh, opened in the beginning of this year, we have to watch out because Bitcoin will have a bit of reversal around this area. That's why I suggest to take a profit. If we got rejected around the 19,900 and we never overcome it, that's mean Bitcoin eventually will go around the 13,000. This is the bottom should be for this year. If we don't hold the potential last support around the 17,800, okay? So this is the game plan for Bitcoin. If we go to link, we have uh, the price uh, to watch out for is the support uh, at the moment around the five and the breakout for the $7.45. Because if we overcome this level of resistance, we gonna have the price go until the $11.45. And you can see it, a nice profit we can make day trade, swing trade, whatever you want to call it, 50% uh, uh, profit. This is really good. Even if the market is still trending down, we can make a good trade here. When link overcome the seven dollar forty five resistance, Ethereum looking interesting to me. You know why? Because we have testing for the rejection. When Bitcoin visited the twenty one thousand seven hundred and get rejected, we have Ethereum tested the one thousand three hundred, which is the resistance, and the price went down. So the last support to hold uh, at the moment uh, for Ethereum is above the 800 so 890 so if we go here we might see a double bottom if we don't hold just be ready for 600 because i will be loading this is will be a nice trade to get in uh, to buy the dip for ethereum so this is uh, one of the strategy to focus on the top 10 cryptocurrency in this current condition of the market and buy the dip and conforming if we enter a bullish trend for them so you don't feel fomo and buy like a fake out like what happened here we still we didn't have the bottom until we break the 1300 and hold above it this is will be a trigger to enter and then take the profit around the 1700 whatever you want to do if you want to hold and accumulate of course you can do it however to confirm that we uh, continue to go up we have to overcome the 1300 because come on if you know that ethereum will go to the 600 come on it's 1300 until the 600 almost 100 percent so if you bought around this fake out around here that happened on the 26th of june if you know that the price will go around the 600 of course you want you're gonna wait and buy around the 600 so what i suggest is save your money to buy the right dip okay so that's why i suggest if we didn't overcome the 1300 just wait for the 600 if we don't hold above the 900 uh, the next one we have uh, interesting one uh, ethereum classic 
which is uh, have an important resistance around the 19. Uh, we did a test lately around the 26th of June and we got rejected. So the potential support at the moment is above the $9.70. This is where we're going to see a big buying pressure like happened here around the 11th of May, I believe, like happened here around the, the 20th of May. You see, this is where big well will buy because this is will be a price value for Ethereum Classic. So watch out for um, have modification at the moment, so we'll never miss this uh, uh, dip for uh, Ethereum Classic. The other one that we're gonna talk about uh, is Sol as well. Got rejected around the 42. I will be hunting for the 19 or above the 20 if we don't hold the 27. And the mark for turning point, for my opinion, for Sol is overcoming this resistance the 42 you see the 42 we already tested when got rejected around this exclamation average clear rejection and the price went down so at the moment we still kind of doing higher lows around this ascending line so if we broke it that's mean the short is in control and we continue to go down and this is would be the nice entry point so at the moment we're still holding this ascending line we might see another test for the 42 the entry will be above the 42 to confirm going for the 58 dollar for so we're gonna do live streaming to answer all your questions regarding crypto stocks uh, what to get in where to get out uh, where the stocks will be squeezed and which uh, altcoin will explode in the coming days uh, because we have a long weekend for american market on monday that's why we're gonna do live streaming because we always do it weekly around 8 p.m paris time so join us and let's get ready to hunt and prepare before the market open for the next week so see you in the next video